So when you think about profits in your business, right? Let's say now you want to increase your profits, right? So the logical thing to do, okay, now let's say uh, you want to take your profits higher, right? Right? Um, so the, the obvious thing to do uh, if you want to make more profits it's to uh, it's to if you want to increase your profits how do you do this okay you get more clients right because the more clients you get because the more because the more clients you get the more money you make right right so that's the logical thing to do is I get more clients, I make more money, right? That's why everybody's always in the chase of getting more clients. You know, I want to get more clients. Okay, more clients I get, I make more money, right? That's why every day, every single day you wake up and you're all busy trying to find more clients, trying to sell more, sell more, sell more, right? But what I'm about to teach you today, guys, it goes against this. Okay, but here's what's crazy about this. It works. Okay, it works far better than the strategy that everybody is following like we need more clients we need more clients we need more clients okay because what you should understand is that you know there's there's two things here okay number one is uh, you do the chasing right that's the first thing because many times you do the chasing you chase the clients you call them, you beg them to give you business and all that and all that and all that. Okay. Now, let's say this is your client. you chasing them. Okay. But did you know that if you make your clients chase you, right, they should do the chasing. You say your clients should do the chasing. Do you know that if you can just do that, this simple thing will double your profits? Did you know that? Because I'll, I'll, I'll give you something to test. Test something, okay? You you always have these difficult clients that no matter what you do, you know, they always want a discount, okay? Uh, no matter what you do, you know, you give them good prices, they'll always want a discount. But I'll tell you this. As soon as you tell them, take it or leave it, what happens? Two things happen. Number one, they might leave. Number two, they might stay. But when they do stay, you realize that their behavior changes because they, they begin to realize that you're not begging for their business. Okay. So once your clients get to a place where they come to you because they need you, they don't come to you because, you know, they have some idea that, you know, you need them. Okay. Once that happens, that shift happens. Okay. You are able to get them to pay you as much as you want because now they know what you, you know you're not begging them because once the clients understand that you know I'm doing this person a favor by buying from them because I'm I might I might as easily go next door okay once that happens you lose the power to increase your profits okay instead you your profits have to go lower and lower and lower is it not because your clients will do that. They will push you lower and lower and lower because they will say, if, if you don't give me the prices I want, I am going next door. But if you can find the ability to not beg for business, but rather get them to chase you, that's what happens. You are able to double your profits and you don't even need a lot of clients to do that. Okay. So what you're going to discuss today, guys, is you're going to discuss the concept, which I think was was created by Dan Kennedy. He calls it, uh, he calls it magnetic marketing. Okay. A concept called magnetic marketing, because what magnetic marketing implies is that you attract, okay. You attract customers to you. Unlike your typical marketing where you have to chase them. Okay. With magnetic marketing, you attract them. People are, are, are drawn to you, okay? They, they come to you, you don't go to them. And when they come to you, it's a, it, it, it's, it makes a huge difference because when they come to you, 
and they are drawn to you and they want to do business with you, price will never be the problem. And that's how you are able to increase your profits. You can double your profits, you can triple your profits, no matter what. They have to they made a decision to come to you. Okay. Versus when you have to do call calling and you have to knock at their offices and you have to sit in their chairs and you have to wait forever in uh, in the waiting rooms for them to give you a chance and then you have to come in begging for business. Okay. When you do that, you you have no authority whatsoever. Okay. And your clients can can treat you whichever way. They can disrespect your time. They can do whatever because the the thing that makes all the difference, the thing that makes all the difference is how you attract okay. your customers. It makes all the difference. Okay. How you attract your customers makes all the difference. Okay. Because if you attract them by begging them to come to you, if you attract them through the begging mechanism, they have no respect for you. Okay. They have no respect for you. Zero respect. And because they have no respect, you're going to have all kinds of problems. They're not going to respect your time. They're not going to respect uh, your your rates. Everything is negotiable to them. Okay. Everything is negotiable to them because you you came off as, as a beggar to them. Okay. But when you attract them and they make a decision to stand up, to pick up the phone, to call you, they make a decision to walk into your offices, okay, they made that decision. So, and also when you, when you outlined the rules up front and say, this is the terms of which I'm willing to do business with you. And if you're not willing to do the terms, it's fine. You know, just, just, just keep walking. So that means think of it as these are stairs, right? Sorry for the bad drawing. And this is your customer here, okay? That means to get to you, they have to climb these stairs. Nobody will climb these stairs, number one, unless they are serious. No one will climb these stairs unless what? They are willing to do whatever it takes to do business with you, okay? And if that's the case, once they get here, they will do whatever you want, okay? And there's many businesses that do that, I think. We know all these businesses where, you know, uh, you have to, you have to meet certain criterias to give them your money. Okay. You have to meet certain criterias to give them your money. Think about that. Okay. You have to think about, uh, I think my favorite business is think about um, exclusive private schools. Right. Think about exclusive private schools, for example. Okay. Think about private schools. When you think about an exclusive private school, okay, we'll use this as, as our as our case study. When you think about an exclusive private school, okay, number one, it's a business. Yeah. You are the customer. You give them the money to do everything that makes them exclusive, is it not? All right? But they have figured out a way to make it such a way that you chase them. You come in with your kid, they do an assessment for your kids, and then they'll and then you have to beg them, say please, my kid, can can they please, you know, make it, you know, through the tests. You are busy praying. And then when it comes to the issue of money, it's not even negotiable anymore. You are more you are so happy that your kid got in that you pay whatever it takes. Okay? Now, this is what I mean. They don't, they don't chase you. You chase them. Right? But at the end of the day, they need you to function. They need your money to function. But at the end of the day, you are the one who's chasing them. You are the one who's begging them. That's why you end up paying 10 times more than you would at another school. Right? Because they have ingrained it inside of you that we are the best. And nobody can be better than us. And your kid needs us. Okay? Now, you need to think about how did that happen? How did this happen? Okay. And this is how it happened. It happened through what? Consistent messaging. Okay. Now, what did they send out to the marketplace as their message? This is the messaging they, they took out. We are the best. We are the best. We are the best. And they kept giving out all these reports, all these statistics, why they are the best. They don't, they don't go out to the marketplace and, 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 and say this is our price and this is uh, you know 
buy because it's cheap. They don't do cheap marketing. Okay. They do what? What we call, what I like to term. They do what I like to term. Authority. Okay. Marketing. All right. I like to term this authority marketing. Where they let you know why they are the best. Okay. They do authority marketing, right? And because of that, they don't go out and market and say, come do business with me. Here's my price. I'm cheaper than everybody else. Please come in. No, they don't do that. But rather, they go out and convince you that they are the best. Okay. And then once you are convinced that they are the best, you make the conscious decision to go and do business with them. And then they have this steps here that you need to climb before you get to them right and this is a qualifying process but this actually it qualifies you to them that you are the customer that they should be dealing with okay you you qualify yourself to them like i have the money i have the kid that will make you guys look good because ultimately for them to maintain their authority marketing they need kids that will make them look good the school itself could be amazing but think of it this way if it was so amazing they should be able to take any kid and make them better right but they are not because they say we want smart kids and we want to make them smarter which is the easiest thing to do right and they have this qualifying process where you have to qualify yourselves to them so that when they when you get here and they say here's the price you don't have any objections, but rather you're so happy that you've made it through the steps. Now think about your business that if you could focus your business on authority marketing, not not the the kind of marketing where you talk about price and you sell the same crap that everybody's selling, right? But you focus your messaging on authority. Think about this. These people in the preschools, they have to follow the same curriculum as other schools. I don't shouldn't uh, uh, is it not? But they will never ever get into the discussion of how their curriculum compares to others, right? Because it's the same curriculum, essentially. It has to be by law, right? But rather they will focus on the results they produce for the kids. Okay. How the, these results are above average, how their kids went out to do amazing things, right? Because ultimately that's what parents care about. It's what our kids become, not about the curriculum per se okay the curriculum will only be discussed in the context of how it helps your kid become you know as amazing as you think your kid is right now it's all about your messaging how you craft your messaging to the market how you focus your messaging on what makes you the best why you are the best why you're better than everybody else whereas other forms of marketing people focus on price Okay, they say a uh, discount today, come buy 50% off. They'll do 50% off of Black Friday specials or all that, you know, all that, all that, all that. This is begging. We call this begging marketing. You're begging people to come to business with you. Okay, but when you do authority marketing, you don't ever have to talk about price. You don't have, ever have to have, you know, a day where there's a sale or discounts or all that. You don't do none of that. Okay, because you are the best. Okay, you are the best. Okay, because you are the best, you operate in a wavelength that that's only your own. Okay, think about all the great companies. You think of more of Mercedes Benz. You know, Mercedes Benz. You know, it it does not. It's it's overpriced compared to the other cars that compete in the same in the same circle as it does. But Mercedes Benz, it does authority marketing. Okay, you think about Apple. Apple does authority marketing. They cannot play the price game. And say we are cheaper than Samsung. No, we're not cheaper than Samsung. And here's why: because we are better than Samsung. Authority marketing. And if you want to double your profits in your business by chasing clients away, you need to embrace the art of authority marketing. Okay. So, guys, if you need help with applying some of these strategies that I'm teaching you, that will transform your business. Okay. We'll be happy to help you guys. I've left you a link in the description. Please click the link. And fill up the form. And if you qualify, we'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you very much for your time.